Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Hey Bible Beauties, welcome back to the channel. I am Yasmin Williams Wills and every single week I release Christian lifestyle content to help women conquer life and everything it throws at them by leveraging the courageous love of Jesus. In today's entire house deep cleaning and extreme cleaning motivation video, I am putting it all out there for y'all. Y'all, the house was a complete disgusting disaster. And honestly, it wasn't reflective of my mental state. Rather, as Psalm 46 and 10 tells us, sometimes we just gotta be still and know that he is God. If I'm still, if I am not cleaning, if I am not holding everybody accountable and ensuring that all the things get done. And if I'm not micromanaging every single second of my house as I try my best to do this whole Christian homemaking thing, then guess what? God is still God. God is still pleased with me. He is still pleased with you. So this video is about taking the pressure off of yourself. I mean, it's just silly stuff. That my kids are done. And basking in the grace of God, his very sufficient grace, his grace and his mercies that are new every single day. His love for you is not dependent upon what you do. So take in this mess. And as I put it out to you, it is symbolic of me putting it at the feet of Jesus. God, take this mess. And I want to encourage you to lay your mess down too. Whether it's a messy house like over here or is whatever mess that you are navigating or have endured. And when you get up from laying it down, you can get up in freedom. You can get up in love, the love that lifts you. And it's with that spirit that you can do all things. And now you can move forward, able to do all things in love because you are operating in love because you have put the load down for love. And I don't have to clean this house because of the pressure or the expectations or the time constraints or any of the demands that I've placed on myself or I accept it from the world, but I can get up and I can operate in love and I can get up and clean this house, which is what you're going to do with me. Go ahead, put me on the TV and let's get something done. Y'all know I could talk to you about faith all day, but faith without work is dead. So we're going to keep talking faith at different points throughout the video, but we're going to do this work throughout the entire time. I'll come back with some scripture, some encouraging word. We'll listen to some worship music throughout. Toward the end of the video, I am of course going to cover us all in prayer. So make sure you keep watching, keep cleaning, keep praying and keep being productive. Now we're going to start cleaning in exactly one minute and seven seconds. If you want to go ahead and skip to that, feel free to do so. But I really want y'all to see the intensity of this mess as a reminder that no matter what mess you what are has you through, overwhelmed, no matter whammed, it is under the feet of God and he can handle it. There is no mess. There is no disaster. There is no level of disgustingness that is too big for our father. Granny wrong clean. But I gotta read, I gotta wash the sheets now. I know that I'm talking about grace and I want us to bask in the grace of God, but y'all know that I believe that your home is a gift from God and it is our opportunity to be a steward over what he has given us. It is our opportunity to anoint our homes, to cover our homes, to cover our family members in it. Everybody who comes in and out is our opportunity to show hospitality. I mean, home is a gift that just keeps on giving, but you ready? Let's go. I took some time and for about two weeks and I was like, you know what? It is what it is because God said I am that I am. I don't know. I just want to say that right. Honestly, it's okay to give yourself grace and to really bask in that. What's more important that I'm sitting, spending time in the word of God, that I am meditating on scripture, that I'm discipling my children, that I'm teaching them the word of God or that I am ensuring that every baseboard is cleaned, every toilet is wiped down. I'd rather my kids have a clean heart than a clean house, but a clean house is important. So we are gonna make sure that we get this house clean. And at the end of the video, I'll show y'all what 
several weeks later how we've managed to keep the house in order and perhaps in upcoming videos i'll share with you um, our cleaning routine and how we are being better students <laughs> shepherd I lack nothing he makes me lie down in green pastures he leads me beside quiet waters he refreshes my soul he guides me along the right path for his name's sake even though I walk through the darkest valley I will fear no evil for you are with me your rod and your staff they comfort me you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Sis, when your house is a mess, when your situation is a wreck, you lack nothing you are as worthy when your house is in order, literally and spiritually, and when you're still working to get it there. You lack nothing. He makes you lie down in green pastures. Sometimes we get so busy with all of the things that have to get done and we want to get done and the expectations, again, that we place on ourselves. But God is saying, lay down in this green pasture where it's lush, where it's nourishing, where it's taken care of, where it's watered, where it's beautiful. He's leading you. He is refreshing your soul. I love productivity as the next woman. Yes, let me clean, 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 clean. It's one of my favorite things to do. You wouldn't know by this video, but it is However, it's not a clean house that refreshes my soul. It's not even a house that refreshes my soul. It's only him. He guides me. And guess what? He does it all for his name's sake. It's not for me and it's not for the fulfillment of worldly standards. Even when I walk through the darkest valley, through the messiest house, I will fear no evil. I'm not concerned what y'all gotta say, what nobody gotta say, what my kids got. I'm not, I will fear no evil for God is with me. His rod and his staff are what comfort me. Yes, I love a good clean duvet and new sheets and mopped floors, but I find my comfort in God, the one who is with me. He prepares a table in the presence of my enemy when I ain't got no dishes to put on my table because they all dirty. When my table is a mess and it's covered with backpacks and homework and all the things, guess what? God prepares a table for me. My cup overflows. Friend, I pray that you will lean in to the fact that your cup is overflowing with oil, with his glory. And dismiss all the things that have you overwhelmed, overstimulated, and just playing over it. Because his goodness and his love is following you every day. On a good day when you've checked all the boxes. On a bad day when you haven't, when you're just tired or whatever it is. You will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And y'all, his house is, is nice, okay? So I ain't even worried about this little messy house over here on my end. I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever, ever.
Oh, I forgot to tell y'all that this was four days of cleaning. Hopefully you're up and you're being productive. Also, just FYI, this is a time where I pray intensely over my home. So while you're being productive, also make sure that you pray and pray without ceasing, sis. And, um, he's like, you know, without the emotions and everything, and I appreciate that, but I feel, you know, I feel like I can do this, you know, I can do this, you know, I can do this, you know, I can do this,
Pass me the shirts you got. Um, what? Pass me the shirts you have to hang up. Alright, sis, so I am checking in with you. What have you gotten done? What have you accomplished? Also, let me know what is your like what do you listen to when you are cleaning up? And what's your worship song that's on repeat right now? This is one of my I'll play one of my other ones soon here. I set a 20 minute timer for each of the girls. Hey Siri. Set a timer for 20 minutes. So that I can help them in their room, keeping it fair, keeping it hands-on, engaging. Little mom hack for you.
Ada siapa kan? We gotta get these clean clothes out the hallway.
this right here so you can So we are a little over 30 minutes into the video and I'm just stopping to check in on you. I pray that you've gotten something done, sis. Let me know in the comments how it's going for you. And while we're here, I'm going to go ahead and give you an update. We're going to head back upstairs eventually here so we can vacuum and finish touching up all of the things. However, here's a little update on what we still have left to do downstairs. And y'all know we got to get to this laundry. I'm going to pray for us right after this song, and I encourage you to just let it minister to you. Just let it fall over you. I pray that you're being productive, but if you need to take a pause to just sit in the presence of God, then that is so much more important. And I encourage you to do that. If you have space, if you have time, then I want to go a little bit further. And I want to ask you to just go sit in a corner on all fours, like baby fetal position, lights off. If you're in need of an encounter with God, I promise just sitting in his presence, either in silence or with the song playing, just sit in his presence in, in darkness and watch his light consume you watch his light feel you y'all i am not playing this video is all about the grace of god letting go of the pressures and just being present in where he has you now if it's messy if it's not messy i'm um, just leaning in where he has you so i would be remiss if i didn't give us a second to do that all right i'm gonna play the song then i'm gonna cover us in prayer <laughs>
sis. Are you worshiping? All right, I'm going to turn the song back on in a second and we're going to pray real quick. Yes, Ella Rose is wearing shades as she is cutting the onion. Y'all, please tell me the secret to our eyes not painfully burning every time we cut onions because it gets real. I don't cook much on the channel, but y'all get to see me cook. Be very careful. Let me know when you start to get to the back if you need a hand. You okay? Yeah. Okay, in a large turn skillet, melt the butter over me and heat. Add finely chopped garlic cloves, cook until the weather. Stir in the panko breadcrumbs. I I need help. Okay, I got you. I'll get it from there. Here, you're gonna measure this. Oh, you gotta go wash your eyes. Wash your eyes. Okay. Wash your hands first. So you're not putting onion in your eyes. What's that? Oh, your medicine? Yeah, because I, I had got something in my eye at work one day and they gave me a big bottle. Got it. Dear Lord, my Heavenly Father, we come to you right now just honoring you for who you are, thanking you for who you are, God. God, we pray for full revelation of who you are, God, all of your glory. We welcome you into this moment, into this time, into this space, God. God, we ask for more of you. You know what it is that we stand in need of. You know where it is that we are burdened in our lives. You know where we are feeling weary in our well-doing, God. And God, while we want the things that will fill those voids, we know that nothing will do except for you. So God, we want more 
of you. We want all of you in the name of Jesus. We are coming to you because God, you are the only one who can. You are the only one who is able, God. I pray for all of my sisters who are watching God. Whatever that deep desire of their heart is, God, on their behalf, I intercede. I lay it at your feet. I give it to you, God. I give it to you. Will you speak to them? Will you lead them? Will you guide them? Will you show them? Will you direct to them, God? Will you provide clarity, answer whatever question it is that they have? Your word tells us over and over again that we can ask for wisdom as we are in these seasons of weariness, if we are as we are in these seasons of worry and doubt and, and wavering and long suffering, God, God, will you give us wisdom for the worry? Will you give us wisdom for the seasons of waiting, God? What is it that we should say? What is it that we should do? How should we sow? How should we steward, God? How should we put you first, God? How can we be more like you, Father God? Yes, Lord. There are so many things that we want. There are so many things that we stand in need of. Deliverance, vindication, reconciliation, peace, joy, provision, hope, health, healing, covering, God, we know that you are all of those things. So we come to you right now again, asking for you, thirsting for you, longing for you. God, I pray for my sister who is grieving. I pray for my sister who is sick. I pray for my sister who is doubtful. I pray for my sister who is on the brink of giving up. I pray for my sister who's hurting as a mom, God, not knowing what to do, what to say, where to go, God, how to stand firm in faith, how to hold her child accountable, how to nurture her child, how to love her child, or even how to provide for her child. God, God, I pray for the person who's going without right now. God, will you provide when you step in when you make a way where there is no way God God we love you God we need you God we're desperate for you God God as we are productive in the things that you have called us to as we steward our homes as we clean our homes God as we do a deep cleaning in these spaces God we ask that you would do a deep cleaning in our hearts that you would do a deep cleaning in our relationships that you would do a deep cleaning in our finances that you would do a deep cleaning in our purposes that you would do a deep cleaning in our marriages that you would do a deep cleaning in the lives and the hearts of our children God and the places that they go and the things that they do and the things that they see God God we just stand needing your help this world needs you we need you God we trust you we walk by faith as the song says you've never failed 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 you won't fail her and what she's dealing with and what she's going through you won't fail her children you won't fail her marriage you won't fail her God you won't fail her you won't fail her God Jesus, you have never failed. You are not a man that you should lie. You are not the son of man that you should change your mind, God. You are faithful. You are sovereign. You are omnipotent. You are close. You are loving. You are kind. You are gentle. You are a healer. I've never seen the righteous forsaken nor their seed begging borrow bread. You are restoring strength right now. Your grace is sufficient. You are equipping us. You are calling us. You are molding us. You are shaping, shaping us, God. Not just us, but our situations. And we thank you, God. We thank you, God. We thank you for the healing. We thank you for the deliverance. We thank you for the restoration we thank you for the miracle the signs and the wonders and places where we had given up god that we'd walked away from that we said it would never happen we thank you that you are doing it god we thank you for every opportunity we thank you for every open door we thank you for every yes we thank you for every amen or for every no father god because we know that you are working it out for our good let us see you let us lean in god let us not take anything for granted let us know that everything is providential and it's all for your glory and it's all for our good God that's why I would have to um, watch it again one day God I thank you for keeping your promises Thank you for keeping your promises. I thank you for keeping your promises. I thank you that you have not left us. You have not forsaken us. That we can be strong. That we can be courageous. That we can be bold. That we can be audacious. In our hope. In our faith in our fervor, in our hearts, in our passions for you. 
and in our prayers, God. God, I thank you that even now my sisters are seeing your yeses. They're seeing the things that you have promised. They're seeing the open doors and they're believing. They're taking another step forward toward what you have promised them, toward what you are calling, toward you, toward your will and your way, God. Thank you for being the life. Thank you for being the truth that sets us free. Thank you for being the way out of wilderness. It is in the name of Jesus that I pray. Amen. Oh, man.
shot is gon' swish. I know this is God's plan, I won't quit. This is His plan, I won't quit. I, I was created for this. Yeah, I've been waiting on this. Second guessing is over. I'm getting closer. Every door that was shut, heaven is open. I, I, close captions on every word spoken. Watch your words, cause I'm chosen. And I cannot feel to go in. This is my time and I'm rolling. I gotta show you.
I forgot all about that praise break that I was having over in the corner. There are a few songs that when they come on, I just have to go in. It's like the Christian version of the 99 2000s. If you know, you know. Sorry if that was offensive. But what that is to the world or to the old me, there are a few worship songs that are that to me, to the new me, the new creation me, new creation in Christ. I've shared this before, but to all of my new friends, I always saw the clothes hamper out prior to putting clean clothes in. I never used to think about that before. You can also wipe it out with, with a bleach wipe or whatever, but it definitely needs to be clean because it's had dirty clothes in it and now you're putting clean clothes in. Every door that was shut, heaven is open. By the way, I'm about to watch my 13 club. I mean, my is it 13 or 14? I'm about to watch another club. Thank you. Did you hear my thread? Where's that? Ah, uh, where I want my things? I'm coming right now. Now. What I want.
It has been 28 days since I started recording this video and I'm going to show y'all what the house is looking like since we've tried to get back on track with our cleaning routine and our systems and all of the things. And for a random Wednesday night while I'm up late editing this video, it's not too bad. We'll get it back together this weekend. So if you're into Christian cleaning motivation, then you might as well subscribe because there will be more of that. And all right, Bible beauties, that's all I have for this video. I hope I've said something to enlighten, inform, enrich, empower, inspire you in some way, shape, form, or fashion. And if so, I want to invite you to like, share, comment, subscribe, do all of that, and keep on watching.